Sophia, that background is really cool for you. I'm surprised Enjoy. you sit on this side. Ah, okay, with the W and the W, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. The W, who, uh, it's more of the W production. Mm-hmm. And, and I have a production house. So this is the logo of my production house. Yeah. But it's not the logo of the podcast. Yes, I know that. Yeah. I, I did my deep dive. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's good. And the first time uh, a guest will study... Uh, on on my yani side on my podcast i think it's important to know what you're stepping into okay that's that sounds uh, very smart um you have do you know robert green he's an uh, yeah. author a, a bunch of things i it's honestly i can't even put in words what he does but he has the book 48 laws of power and everyone and their mother has read that book but i think very few actually understand it and one of the points it's not one of the laws but it's an underlying tone in that book is you should understand every situation you're in be prepared he talks about understanding your enemy obviously this isn't that kind of situation but i think it's it's um it's good to be prepared it's to, you take things um You give them value, you know? So I'm coming in here with a very open mind, but I thought it was important to also give you your accolades and, and study what you've done and just know a little bit about you. I think it's important when you're trying to have an honest conversation. I mean, that's that's great. Usually, um, it's, it's vice versa. I study more about you. <laughs> and uh, what, what usually people ask me is like, okay, what, what are you going to ask? What's the questions? And then I told Bill on the notes, um, I, I don't prepare questions. Mm. Yeah, and I prefer not. I'm going to study as much as possible mm-hmm. uh, about your life and um, your presence, let's say, online and, and yeah. everything, uh, all the material you have exposed or who, who are you. Definitely, it's a respect that I need to know uh, my guest very well. But to prepare questions, it's, uh, it's going to be very staged. I understand. Uh, actually, surprisingly, now that you mentioned it, I didn't ask you what would we be even talking about. I was just like, yeah, let's do it. Which I think it's uh, that kind of spontaneity is healthy. I think so. And uh, I feel come in no the podcast. This is the it is the essence you know, of the This is h- how the podcast is should be. Uh, it's going to be an interview. والفلو ما بيكون طبيعي يعني انا اي شود رياكت مثلا على اشياء انت هلا عم تقوليها فاذا ايماجين اذا بعرف اللي عم بتقوليه ومحضره او كايند اوف يو نو وي نو واتس نيكست ما راح تكون القصه طبيعيه 100% اي ثينك اولسو ذن اف ثينجز دونت جو ذا واي يو كوت اون كوت بلاند it shocks you and then maybe you don't know how to behave because I've seen when people and this doesn't pertain to you but just in general when people over plan the second like they don't know what to do anymore they're in panic mode and that's this over attachment to things need to go exactly how they are in my mind which um, obviously backfires in the short run and long run يا yeah. uh, كنا عم نحكي قبل على الكرياتيفيتي يس yes. وقديش um, هلا بين بين الفرق بين الاشياء مثل ما عم تحكي انه اذا نحن محضرين كثير uh, بنكون مثلا في ناس بيقدروا يكونوا بيرفكت فيها بيكونوا محضرين بس ات ويل لوز ليتل بيت بارت اوف ذا كرياتيفيتي ان كرياتيفيتي اتس سمثينج سبونتينيوس اتس سمثينج ذات يو هاف تو تراي اند ريسك سام تايمز اي شيء كرياتيف هو شغله جديده عم تخلقيها فما بتكون لاحقه باترن ذات ليد ليد تو سكسس ان جنرال سو اني ثينج ذات يو هاف كوبيد فروم ا باترن ان لايف ذات اتس سكسسفول اند ات هاز بين بروفن ذات اتس سكسسفول ذن اتس بين ميد بيفور يعني ذن ات دازنت جو اندر كرياتيفيتي كرياتيفيتي اتس سمثينج ذات يو اتس بورن نيو سو لتقدري تخلقي شغله جديده Uh, actually, it's not proven yet. So yeah. all the creative people, but they on no, yani, Aishin be their own world. So, so productivity, tabaon, it won't be hundred percent. But kun no, masalan ten percent, the things that they do are creative. It works, but the rest ninety percent, they were trying. Mm. So uh, we always think that we, uh, in, especially in the corporate world, in in companies. We should give that room, mm. the flexibility for them to be to be creative and tr- to try things. Absolutely, I think Ali um, Haketo. It's trial and error, right? But the, so this is a really important topic that I take very much to heart. So you were saying about 10% creativity, 90% they tried and failed, right? Trial and error. Um, 
to be able to try and fail, you have to have that freedom, right? So creativity spawns from freedom. And most people don't have that freedom in the sense of either it's imposed upon them from an external source, either a toxic parental figure, authoritative figure, or it's a mental barrier because ihna trabbena lil asaf ashadid bi mujtama wen inno iza inta ghlatat inno inta bani adam say al ghlat almost amlu haram you know but that's absolutely untrue al insan is born in a state of wrong and i think the second we're able to genuinely accept that that is when the right can commence does that make sense so um the ability to be okay with being wrong or making mistakes is the is the most important point in that and i think that stems from freedom so i'll say it again creativity spawns from freedom i believe so yes and um, you know trying new things mm. um uh, allowing mistakes it's fine uh, as long as you know not the huge <laughs> and uh, and always trying uh, new things we're talking كمان كنا عم نحكي عن ربطنا الكرياتيفيتي بالفيمينين سايد سو اي وونت مور اكسبلينيشن اون 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 هاو هاو ديد يو اي اجري وذ يو اتس فلويد اتس مور كرياتيف ذا فيمينين سايد اند ميبي ذا كوربريت سايد از مور ماسكولين بيكوز اتس اتس سيستماتيك اتس ديسيبلين تيل مي مور اباوت ات I think the I don't think I'm fully equipped to talk about it so I'll say what I know because obviously there's still so much more that I can learn and I'm quite eager to but from what I've seen from masculine and feminine especially that I truly believe we're heavily influenced by the west and they've almost put a stigma on men and women I think there's a beautiful difference between masculine and feminine I think there are very feminine men and I think there are very masculine women and that's it's been a natural part of history for as long as we've been around i think um bismillah what am i trying to say for in your case so i did a deep dive on you and you are a photographer that was your first passion if i'm not mistaken that's where you started off and as a man especially if someone looks at you you're muscular your tattoos you look quite like rough around the edges as a person would be intimidated but if you ignore that your first instinct and you just go on okay, he's a photographer. And as I was saying earlier, to capture, you have that one second, right? To capture a beautiful moment, an intimate moment, a moment that perhaps me or anyone else wouldn't have witnessed because we don't have that flair, that creativity. And you're able to do that. That's because you have to have in any aspect to be in touch with your feminine side. And there's a beauty to that. People want to fight that like, شو أصدق إنه I'm feminine, do you think? Like, you know, but that's not what it is. By accepting that, we can see that you've been able to capture some of the most beautiful moments that other people are unable to. So why would you deny yourself that gift? Just because we have to say, okay, Hikmat is in touch with his feminine side. There's such a beauty to that, you know? And in return, you can share your images with people. You get hired for it, you know? It's a source of passion and a source of income. In return, you're also able to sit with women guests and relate to them, if not on every level, on a certain level. So it's expanded your horizons and opened so much more for you. And... Um, I think I think that's really important. Yeah, I, I think, think there's ma- a symmetry. Yes, مش مش كل العالم راح تفهمها. و especially نحنا ب ب بوطننا العربي. بس نحنا when you're saying it, you're saying each person mm. has a feminine side and a masculine side. Absolutely. يعني بس uh, the moment you say it in front, especially a man, <laughs> يعني he'll be like, what do you mean I have a feminine side? Well, every human being will have a certain amount of feminine side. Mm. يعني masculine masculine side is like it's like really. tough and it cannot be bent Absolutely. and if you are living and you, you need to bend things uh, yani sh- softly you need to talk in a, in a nice way mm. and this is more feminine you need to be creative and this is more feminine yani if you dance if you if you are um you know just like being uh soft in a, in a, in some parts where you need to be soft that's that's a, s- a feminine trace that's a f- you know it's it's not like uh There's nothing wrong with that. Bilax, I think it's admirable. I think the people who are, especially, I will say, with men, because I truly believe there's a war on 
manhood and masculinity if a man is able to find that balance and that equilibrium of accepting what he has that is feminine even if it's minimal and what he has that is masculine and using both to make him the best version of himself there is nothing more admirable uh, that that is the deepest sign of emotional intelligence and god bless the men who are able to do so yeah. i will say that and leila it's vice versa as well like for for women they have a masculine side and also <laughs> it's also it's a beautiful I mean, a little bit of masculinity in the in the in the female is needed sometimes, and it gives her beauty. Mm. But and the fikra and no, and what are you talking about? We're not talking about like a really uh, extreme version of that. Absolutely. But the beauty of a feminine woman with a little bit of strength, mm. and and uh, you know the, the even the act and the the, the discipline, which which are traits. Mm-hmm. We are calling that it's it's a masculine trait. That needed to be added on on the whole 95 I don't know the percentage of her familiarity it will it will create a beautiful person absolutely uh, I think that is important to say no extremes we're talking about fitrat al bani adam so your innate state <laughs> is <laughs> <that>. <laughs> 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 لا ما عم بحكي عن extremes عم نحكي عن فطرة your innate nature فطرة البني آدم is so important and I think people don't understand it as much as they should but that's absolutely fine because it's an opportunity to learn um, I for example own an agency and I'm a talent manager and I call myself momager I love it but once you become as a woman رح أحكي عن حالي هون because that's the only place where I can speak from I When you have your own company and you you have your talents, their professional career is in your hands. As much as I love them and my girlies do makeup and it's a beautiful, they, they really re-energize my feminine side. The business side, I'm fully big boy pants on. Truly. And I have to be disciplined. I have to be logical. I cannot think emotionally. I cannot make decisions based on emotions. And as a woman, I'm more inclined to naturally. But again, there's nothing I with that. But acknowledging that makes me a better entrepreneur. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. So I have that masculine side that I've had to tap into more as a business owner. And rather than fight it, it's actually helped me. And it gives me... It's not that I'm, I, I emphasize the men's side because I have a father and a brother and I think it's so important to me, but it's given me a higher appreciation to how hard men need to work, the obstacles men face, the hurdles they have to jump through to become men that are revered in society. And just by being a business owner, it's given me an entirely new appreciation for men in that side. And it's also given me an entirely new appreciation for women because it goes against your nature to have to be that alpha for lack of a better word but the fact that women get up every day and do it every day it goes back to our point كل واحد فينا has both sides the feminine and the masculine and you use or tap into whatever you need to to make your life better you know what I mean as long as you go back to the balance at the end of the day because I think equilibrium is important if I find myself too much on the masculine بتعب شعري بتعب وجري بتعب you know I'm not I don't feel as feminine as I should and if I tap too much into the feminine <laughs> yeah. like the خلص everything's lost yes especially I mean this is this is a very important topic وكتير controversial mm. um, كمان يمكن بيتأثروا في العالم مش بس من ناحية feminine و masculine من ناحية الأدوار يعني إنه دور المرأة بقديش هي دورة بالعمل قديش نحن عم نقول لما بنقول انه اذا عندها دور كفاميلي كا ان ان تكون تنجب اولاد وتتزوج وتاخذ تعطي بارت من 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 حياتها لهيدا البارت كمان سم بيبول جيت اوفندد انه اوكي ما بدك المره تشتغل اتس نوت ذات ات اول اي ثينك اتس ذا بالانس حتى بالشغل لازم يكون في انديرستاندينغ للامراه انه انه شي شي مايت نوت بي ايبل تو جيف ليتس سي toughness all the time 100% we need the room نعطيها لان تكون تعيش حياتها ك كامراه وتكون عم تنجب بال بالمجتمع بحياتها الشخصيه بنفس الوقت she's gonna reflect this back to the to the to the business world يعني حتى لو انه عرفنا انه في اوقات الامراه بدها تاخذ بريكس اكثر يمكن بس الادفانتج انه الشركه لحالها ما بتمشي برجال لحالهم ما بتمشي بس بماسكلن لانه اتس ذات انرجي از نيدد ات شود نوت بي تريتد ايكولي بين بين الرجال والمراه بمعنى انه ذا وركينج اورز مثلا هالقد بس في كواليتي بدها في ديفرنت 
انرجي بالدق ات شود بي تريتد ذس واي نوت جاست لايك باي ذا نمبرز انه اوكي مثلا الامراه يمكن ما فيها تكون فيزيكلي بمطارح فيري تاف يس ذاتس ترو بس مم. فيها تكون ايموشنلي بمطارح الرجال ما بيقدر يكون يوصل لهيدي المطارح ابسولوتلي هو ذس توبيك ام غونا رافل سم فيذرز ام I think if a woman wants to be a housewife and a mom and بس تبني عيلة وتأسس عيلة, I think that is the most beautiful thing a woman can do because it is the toughest job in the world. Raising kids and, and being a good mom and a good wife and keeping that nuclear family, I think is من أصعب الأشياء, you know, and the women who do it, no chapeau, عن جد. That being said, I think it's very important, like you said, to recognize the different rules. I think it's okay that there are some things that women can't do and there are some things that men can't do. It is how we were built. And I say this all the time, fight me, I will go to my grave standing by this statement. Because I don't want, don't put me in a box with a with a UFC fighter. I can't do what he does. You know what I mean? And don't put him in a box with a woman who who knits and, and paints and, and does yoga. And like I said, there's a symmetry and there's so much beauty to it. I think if, here's the thing, people say, for example, is a... In a certain situation, Masan, she got had kids or he no, the dude doesn't want her to work and no, that's not what we said. I think in some cases, if a man, and he's a great man and he's a provider and he's very well off and she doesn't need to work and he's giving her that freedom of Habibti is a mob it's if that's what he wants in his marriage he, that's his prerogative he's entitled to that if he went into a marriage saying i don't want you to work i want you to be the best mom and the best wife and she agreed to that there's nothing wrong with that it, she's he's in his divine masculine she's in his divine feminine feminine excuse me and they come together and create something beautiful there is nothing wrong with that but people want to tell you there's something wrong with that and that is where i have a problem You know, I'm a business owner now. I work very, very diligently and I'm very happy, alhamdulillah. Push comes to shove. Ideally, it's not what I want to do. I would love to become a, a mother and raise my kids and just be fully devoted to them when the time is right. You know, if I am given that option, I will take it in a heartbeat. And why wouldn't I? You know, but then people want to shame you for that. And I don't think mm. that's that's right. So I think also it depends on what each individual wants and what they're okay with. And if a man wants something that's healthy like that, that is entirely his right. And we shouldn't be angry with that and if a woman wants to work that is also her right and we shouldn't be angry with that because so I think people have a certain idea of how things should be you're a toxic man <laughs> it's just it's ridiculous when you say it out loud when I say it like that it sounds ridiculous right it's true I mean it is complicated uh, we, we can agree it's 100% complicated I know it's um It's, uh, it has also منا منا general يعني في في مره بتقول لك انا بدي اكون يو اف سي فايتر يعني هلا انت ذكرتي يو اف سي فايتر انه انا بدي اكون يو اف سي فايتر وانا ذس از ذس از وات اي لاف اند ذاتس ماي رول اند اتس توتالي فاين وذ ذات سو بس هي فكره انه نحن ما وي نوت جنرلايزنج نحن عم نقول انه اتس اوكي okay كل واحد ياخذ الدور بس ان جنرال ذاتس ذا ذاتس ذا هاي الماجورتي وي شود نوت بوش على اشياء If, if it's not within your interest كنا عم نحكي عن هذا الموضوع آه انا وتمارا آه موضوع انه في اشياء نحن بناخذها بالحياه بس لانها هي انحطت لنا كتايتل كتارجت كستيريو تايب معينه يعني بتلاقي انه انت يو ار بوشينج تاورز سم جوب سم ايمج معينه بتكون بالحياه انت فروم فروم انسايد يور نوت هابي اباوت ات انت فروم انسايد يور وركينج ماتش دبل ذا افورت جست تو دو ات واللي فكرت فيه انه اني جوب انت يور دوينج ات جست للمجتمع بس وبتحسي حالك يو بوتينج دبل افورت اتس نوت فور يو 100% Ooh, absolutely. Steve Harvey, who I used to watch religiously, he says, find your gift in this life and make it your job, right? If your gift, your passion is cutting hair, find a way to become the best at it and make money out of it. And he gives a bunch of examples for that. I think what you're saying is absolutely true. I think, unfortunately, 
we just live in a time and age where there's so much happening around us and we move at lightning speed where most people don't have, and I'll go back to this, the freedom to find what it is that they're passionate about. So they're thrown in like cattle, we are, you're a lawyer, you're an engineer, you're a marketing girl, you're a PR exec. And it, before you know it, 10 years have gone by. How many stories have you heard of a person who's been at this company, uh, it's usually there's those huge corporations, and if you ask him what his dreams were 10, 15 years ago, I guarantee you it wasn't to be sitting in that same desk doing the same job, just being promoted 10, 15 years later. And it's the freedom. And it has to do with so many things, the way we were raised. The money is a huge factor. People mm. don't like to talk about money. because Money is a big thing. If you can't afford your freedoms, Exactly. You know? Yeah. And so, feel so many pressures. One of them is the money. Oof, and then there's a big the, pressure. Yeah. Huge. Money is... It's an interesting one because I had a very fickle relationship with money. I did. Uh, I grew up, uh, my dad didn't have a lot of money for a while. And then he had a lot of money and then he lost it all. And then I didn't, we didn't have money for a very long time. So I would consider myself rich for two years out of my life, you know. But having seen the difference, the way people treat you, the things you have access to the things you can waste your time on or or even not even waste like go to experience or go like maybe i'm a painter let me give that a try i, I didn't have the time for that i had to drop out of university to start working you know and again it has to do with freedoms and that luxury that being said i think the way you view things it, how you, i choose to see my experiences i could كان ممكن انكد على حالي وعلى كل اللي حوالي من هون لابد الابدين لاني ما عرفت اخلص جامعه ومضطره اشتغل وخلص يلا نكد على جميع نو ات واز اي وود نوت تشينج ا سكند اوف ات يو نو سو ماني از ا فيكل ثينج اتس ا فيري سنسيتيف توبيك فور ا لوت اوف بيبل بس اي ثينك ات از ذا توبيك بيبل نيد تو لوك ستريت ان ذا اي اند فيجر اوت هاو تو هاو تو فيكس ذا ريليشن شيب وذ بيكوز ات ويل تشينج ذير لايف يس اي مين ماني از از ريلي ميبي ذا بيجست فاكتور انذر وان I would say, كمان ال الفومو like fear of missing out. <laughs> والله. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like I want to be Elaborate. like that person, or or okay. I might. You know, this is this is this is trending, and and this is شوي من social media يعني هاي أكتر شيء إنه if you ask a kid what do you want to be ولا هالقصص يعني ما عم ياخذوها انه هيدا الشيء له هو بحبه بس كمان it's like the, the FOMO is, is a big factor of that I'm gonna take it a step further with FOMO and I'm gonna be a little strict with this I think it's even deeper than that it's not just FOMO I think most people have no idea who they are I think everyone is made up of a facade and a persona and social media is a huge stem of that because you open It's an influx and an overflow of so many different faces and, and uh, achievements and accolades and whatever you want to call it. But for example, this model has this. Oh, I like that. I'm going to incorporate it. This business owner has this. I like it. I'm going to incorporate it. And before you know it, people are made up of little things that are 99% fake because you got it off of social media. And they don't even know who they are to begin with. So if you have that to begin with, how do you even want to go into explore your options, fix your relationships? with money uh, discipline your mind it's people i think the beginning of it all starts from most people have developed a persona and that needs to be i don't even want to say shed shattered khud <laughs> shakush like blast that it needs to disappear immediately wow if, how do you find the new generation these days <laughs> you're trying to get me in trouble <laughs> أنا, أنا بدي, أنا بدي صغيري, i have i have a يعني, point of view on the new generation um let, let me open up this, the subject I, i find the you know the, the older generation not only my generation but يعني, the, the, the older and older mm-hmm. and older you find that they are more disciplined hard workers mm-hmm. and then Every new generations come out على طول من منقول عنه انه ما بحب يشتغل وكسلان وهالقصص هيدا بس انا I find it opposite انه انه I بحسه smarter shortcuts creative finding better ways to to find out how things are done due to the technology that's happening in front mm-hmm. of him so he has more tools or she has more tools mm-hmm. and um, they don't want to take the the long way they don't want to take the harder road you know okay. and that's my opinion 
شكلي okay. عندك شيء ثاني <تصفيق> completely opposite I think you're talking about a very very minor percentage you need to look into studies and into certain statistics um, we are at the highest rate of mental health illnesses like mental health is a disaster in return uh, people are going to come for me for this I don't even care they are going to say yeah but we talk about our emotions more we actually go to therapy we actually do this okay and in return over 50 or 60 percent of women are on antidepressants ma'ul like I'm a woman to think of my 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 sister my mother my f- closest friends to see them on antidepressants like I can't even imagine that so we we live in a time and age where most people chuck up everything to trauma and mental health they chuck up everything to my parents abused me or I don't do anything I think the statistics and the numbers are important there are very few absolutely who have used and utilized everything that they have been offered and have used it to their advantage and they are thriving well god bless them but that is a small small percentage the majority of the people don't do what you're talking about the majority of the people you're talking about go to therapy twice a week and it's just an excuse to talk about themselves and if you actually ask them what would they, they do in therapy they cried okay cry by the way it's not that i'm against emotions you know i just think it has to see And it, at what point does it become that you are hindering your own growth? You know, there is something that has to do with, uh, let me put it in this way. If I'm a doctor, for example, and you come to me with headaches, simple, okay? And I give you something and I'm like, Khalas, this is for you. And one week, come back to me and it should be done and I never want to see you again. As a doctor or a healer in an ideal world, I'll emphasize, that should be the goal. But I want to get to the root cause. I want to heal it. I don't want to suppress it. I want to heal it. I want it to to disappear into beautiful little butterflies. And then I want you to become the better version of yourself and go. Go go face this dunya because this dunya is long. It is hard. It is, it's not made to be easy. Let's just agree on that, you know. But if you come to me with a headache and I tell you, Hikmat, okay, did I help you? No. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So to me, I'm like, okay, you're going to therapy, but for how long? Are you going to go to therapy for the rest of your life? Is it, and it's not, people will think that I'm undermining trauma or what you've been through. God knows I have seen my fair share of trauma. We all have, you know? So that's why I'm not going but I've been traumatized. We've all, there Everyone has been through something like that. But if I am going to be defined by what I have been through in the worst of ways, in the sense that it does not help me grow, it has not made me a better person, then I am a shell of myself. I am weak. And that's not an existence. So I know I went on a little bit of a rant. I agree with some of what you said to a certain percentage. I think the majority have a lot of work to do. Yes, definitely. But Layla, we're talking about the generation. And the you ge- get my point? Yeah, so but the generation oh, is weak. Then weak. keep it true for the future. Oh, <laughs> you're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> um, I have hope because I think hope is the one thing you can't destroy. I have hope because there are a lot of people, again, there has to be a balance. So when the extreme side of we're not going to do anything and we're super traumatized and whatever comes out, the other side has to come out. The disciplines, the no, take your trauma and turn it into something better has to come out. I think there is hope yet. It's We live in a day and age where it's very divided. And it's very clear. It's very few people that are neutral. People, like, there are two op- opposing sides to how we're maneuvering things. I think this generation is the most dalua we've ever seen. I'm going to be really honest with you. It is the most dilua we've ever seen. I don't think it's getting better for them. بمعنى إنه التكنولوجي اللي عم تطلع هلا من ال من ال AI كمان عم تعمل الأشياء يعني شوي shortcuts شوي أسهل. I don't know much about AI, believe mm. it or not. I know that it's scary. I know that it's crazy. Um, I know it's going to make a lot of people redundant for sure. But I don't know. But like you said, some people, and I guarantee you. And very few that are going to come out and they're going to use AI and all of this new technology to change their lives and, and become billionaires and they're going to change the world. But again, it's two, three out of... Do you, I'll ask you something. 
answer me honestly, okay? <laughs> With what you've seen from the society now, and especially the new generation, okay? And you mentioned AI and how competitive and, and the craziness of all of that. Do you think that most, and we're going to generalize here, do you think that most of today's generation has the mental discipline and strength to compete with that? Um, compared to the older generation, no, I don't see the discipline, but you have to ask the question whether it's really needed. You have to rethink, rewire, rechange things. Mm-hmm. We have to be creative. Mm-hmm. I know we're talking about generation. We're mm-hmm. not talking about something like easy to like a bunch of people. Okay, It's the entire generation. So we have to be careful. Especially also, أنا أم مش بقول مخضرم يعني I I I I been into two different um, generation. Yes. I'm still working, so I have to believe with the new generation. I have to believe in them yeah. in a way. So give more chance. Don't treat the same way that you've been treated, or or maybe it's different. يعني I think if we are smart, and I talk about uh, AI in from that way, if AI can lead to a uh, easier life better life we will find jobs that it's that used to be hard and maybe we don't need these jobs anymore mm. and yeah, we'll find ways that you know okay it's okay in no masala ma nashtghil 10 saat bin nahar yani in nashtghil 5 saat bin nahar it's okay in no fi jobs nalghiha min al hayat completely nalghiha la anno yemkin batal ila zoom mish ma'nata am nalghi alam min hay al job hin rah we going to find them a better jobs and the ai or the machine or the robots is going to take that part from us so نحن بنصير نحن مور فوكسد على اشياء انه الى ايمي اكثر بالحياه but do you see how you said it you said it انه بنصير نركز على الاشياء اللي الى ايمي اكثر it's a mindset so you have that mindset or of if is a مثلا انه my circumstance شال عني هالخمس ساعات and I now have five hours of freedom and بالعكس well, my quality of life increased it's not that I've been made redundant right you're like I'm not ju- I'm gonna take those five hours that I've been given and I'm gonna do something amazing with it I'm gonna invest in my passion help someone else it's a mindset do you think the generation today has that mindset because I will tell you immediately no <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm going to ask you a Go for it. You said that you met with your family at a time when you had you lost uh, mm-hmm. everything, so you, you've been into the up and down. If you were with a lot of money, would you have to work wherever you want to work just to make a living? No, I wouldn't, obviously. You wouldn't. So you would choose what to work and we can talk about this and what to do. And, and I would be very picky and I will do what I love 100%. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to be able to work with the media. إذا الـ AI هو the big father تبعنا اللي عم بيأملنا مثلا الـ infrastructure عم بيعطينا الـ 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 الزراعة وعم يعملنا كل القصص اللي 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 ما في داعي إنه نصرف عليها فلوس كثير لحتى تو تو جيف أس better life وما ضروري نشغل فيها كل العالم بس it's returning back to us in a way where we are more uh, relaxed like a rich father. Okay. Would you mind that? Selfishly, I would say no, but because I do not like being selfish and I try to stay away from that, if it's just me and my family, but if I want to think about the majority of people, will famine be gone? Will students... Will students be helped out like in terms of a better education and a genuine education? People don't know history, and I think history needs to be taught properly. If it helps um, people who were making minimum wage are now making better, if it, if it helps the majority of society, sure, maybe. But it, it doesn't because that will never happen. Do you get what I'm saying? Hmm. There, there is no way. We've seen it in throughout history for as yani, as far back as you can go. The rich want to get richer and they want to make the poorer poorer because it's a sheep mentality. They want to, not to get into conspiracy theories, but I, I, I cannot see a world where they genuinely do it to help the masses. And the masses are important to a certain extent. Um, and I believe in AI is a discovery, is not something that we are creating. It's it's discovery. We're still Come discovering on. it. We don't know what the consequences are. 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 We don't know
بس ما ما بنعرف شيء يعني it's still very early يعني just like really حتى انا I studied يعني a lot of scientists وكل كل واحد عنده رأي وكل واحد بعده yeah. ما عم يعرف اصلا وين رايحين بهيدا الاي اي yeah. اذا هو منيح لل humanity ولا 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 لا it's a, it's something still it's a really a discovery يعني I don't like I said when you first brought it up I really don't know much about AI it's not something that I have invested my time in maybe after this conversation I will um, it's just not where personally my journey is and where my head's at but it is it's it's moving at the speed of light which is what I know um, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that and uh, when it comes to AI I think I will um, Settle with being a spectator. Mm. <laughs> I think I just want to see what happens with that. Lila, tell me more about you. I love the videos that you're doing, but now you told me that you're talking about your dad, which yeah. is like really nice. Which is like really nice. وبلاقيها انه مش كل شخص بيقدر يحكي قدام بيه او يعطي ارائه بشكل يمكن انا اذا بدي احكي عن حالي يعني كنت على طول شاي فروم ماي فادر ما اقدر اعبر عن حالي كثير قدامه بكل القصه يعني قدام اصحابي بعبر اكثر قدام بيي يعني شوي الامور ما كانت بهالسهوله بس انت عم تعملي فيديوز بيك هيك قدامك عم بيساعدك فيه هون ما بعرف قد ايه عم بيساعدك بس يعني تيل مي مور ابوت ذات اول بي كريدت وير كريدت از يو هي از ا هيوج He's the biggest help. I would be lying if I said, oh, I just walk in there and do my thing and walk out. He's very, very meticulous with how things are done and how we do things because he he taught me discipline. So the way it happened is I was going to call the podcast Bint Abuha because it's literally my dad is my greatest mentor. My mom will be very jealous of me saying this. Um, and he he taught me everything I know. And I won't say he's the best dad in the world who hasn't made any mistakes, not at all. He is a a world of, of mistakes and a world of, of experience and a world of trial and error and a world of uh, successes and failures. And I think it's so beautiful because I learned everything I know from him from either d- like positive learning and negative learning. Positive learning is I learned from his successes and negative learning is I learned from his mistakes. So the idea initially was that he sits across from me and um, he interviews me or picks a topic or asks me a question out of the blue. And it's all the life lessons that I've learned with him around to guide me kind of. Um, it's uh, it's been It's been a surreal experience because... It is a reminder for me. As, as much as I'd like to think I've grown and I'm disciplined, I'm still human and I'm very, um, very, very, I gravitate towards mistakes. So it's a reminder for me when I get to sit with him that one or two hours every week and just go through it and, and hammer it down. And he's, if I'm disciplined, my dad's, he's not nice about it at all. Like if you make a mistake, he, he will not, he will sit down and be like, what happened? What did you do? Where did this stem from? Okay get it together you know and I think uh, I think that's really important so that's basically the videos it started off that way but then also as I was telling you earlier um, there are a lot of times in my life where I had the answer internally but it's because I'm one of the lucky few who had a father like my father to guide me but um, the persona that I was falling under didn't allow me to think clearly and and guide me in the right direction which obviously guided me in the worst directions and um i wished that i had someone to guide me in the moment right Mm -hmm. they tell you they tell you almost be the person you needed as a child which is one of the best advice i've ever heard in my life and my videos then turned into that and it's 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 absolutely my intention and my goal with it now and that will never change inshallah is i just want to help make people's day-to-day better I, and the amount of DMs that I get, oh my God, of uh, this is literally what I needed help with. Your video literally came in the right time. And just that, it's it's like a bomb. مثل العسل على القلب والله. Just to know that you can help someone make someone's day better. Because sometimes it's, I swear, it's the silliest little thing. مثل أواجه صاحبتي على الكلمة اللي قالت لي إياها اللي زعلتني ولا ما أواجهها. And and as a girl, I'll tell you, especially if you're young and you're not as experienced, that can drive you crazy. It's my best friend. بس حكت لي كلمة. And then you get anxious and you're panicking. And then they come across one of my videos and they're like, oh my God, no, that is what I need to do. And this clarity comes upon them and they take an action that betters their lives and they become better for it. And if I did that, then I did my job. 
Does that make sense? Yeah, amazing. I mean, uh, انا حسيت نفس الشيء لما when I started the podcast بس عم فكر انه كمان هلا انت وعم تحكي انه هاي الاشياء كمان we are actually attracting it to ourselves mm. يعني انه ف... كنا عم نحكي عن الجنريشن نظرتك له قديش هو بحاجه قديش هو يمكن يكون um, uh, under uh, antidepressant او او اشياء mentally uh, um, شوي تعبان بهيدا البارت بس yeah. يمكن وي ار اكشلي لما تبلشي تنصحي ومش عم بنتقدك انا نفس الشيء لانه انا <تصفيق> فتت بال 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 بالموضوع فعم لاقي انه فيها انه وهي سعاده لالي لأ لما شخص ياخذ مني اي شغله يعني صرت عم لاقي انه واو اتس اتس امبورتنت انه مش بس ياخذ مني ياخذ من ضيوفي كمان الكلمات اللي عم نقولها آه انه دي شغله مهمه قديش نيدت بهالحياه yeah. امم لين يعني طلعت معك فكره انه I need to give back to the to the community this uh, empowerment. هل بتجي من محل إنه I needed it at some time وما لقيتها ف now I'm learning more about it and I want to teach people about it. So um, it's two things. I just before I answer your question, I just want to go back to something you said before. It's about when you're giving people advice. That's why I started by saying, "No, it's it's a reminder for me. It's that quality time with me and my dad. I'm I'm never talking at people as strict and as disciplined and as harsh as I can be. I'm not talking at people. I'm talking to myself. And if people think I'm harsh or I'm and by the way, my videos are actually nicer than I am in real life. Um, It's it's a reminder for me. I never say anything I did not say to myself. I'll never, even with my friends, if they come for a piece of advice and I'm like, Ya habla, this is where you went wrong. This is what you need to do. Do better. I know you're capable. It's not me from my high horse preaching. It's how I speak to myself. I'm very strict with myself because I need to be. Because I saw the difference of how I was before and how I am now and I am all the better for it. So now that I know what I know, I like to go back to how I was before. Do you see what I mean? So So with my videos, it's not that I'm preaching at people. Truly, I'm preaching at myself. And if that helps someone in return, khairu barakeh, you know? And so far, I'd like to say that it's, alhamdulillah, it's been very positive. But ala, why and where it stemmed from, if I'm being honest, uh, obviously, everything that happened with Palestine, we had an event at Meta, and it was a panel where they were discussing the community guidelines and the safety measures with the content pertaining to Palestine. And I'm a Palestinian, so I, I kind of had a very strict, um, to the point uh, message that I relayed. And there was an influencer that happened to be sitting on the other side of the room that filmed me. So he then posted it on his story. He sent it to me and I'm like, yeah, let me post it. So I did. And that went viral. That was the first time a video went viral. It was overwhelming. And... Um, It felt really good, you know? It felt good because I was doing something that in my soul of souls I knew was right. And after that happened, my friend Sean, my parents are divorced, actually sat with me. He's like, Leila, the day you spoke, the way you spoke, he's like, that's where I was like, whoa, that is a powerful woman. Keep that going. And um, I'm, I'm very grateful to him for giving me that idea because he, he kind of uh, pinpointed the fact that invest in yourself, you'll never regret it. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it in the way that will be the least detrimental to society in terms of the quality of content that I'm putting out there. And it will be the most beneficial to myself and to whoever happens to come across it. Because I think even when you're working on content, and you would know this, if it's, if it's not feeding your soul, at what point does it become detrimental to not only yourself but those around you? So that is it's kind of how it happened. So after the Palestine thing i also i wanted to give back i'm palestinian so i'm like the least i can do is make someone's day better the least i can do is put out positive content and show what we're made of i don't want to cry but yeah my people are are definitely the biggest inspiration i mean that's amazing honestly and i saw that video oh uh, it touched me so much yani oh uh, that was the biggest reason actually <laughs> i was like okay after cry. that Uh, كل شيء كل شيء عم بتقوليه صرت مصدق وصرت um, صرت اذا هاي شخصيتها هيك حكيت uh, I want to listen more to her um, which is amazing it's very hard to um, نوصل لوقت نعبر عن حالنا بنفس الطريقه اللي عبرتي عن حالك فيه انه ما كنت عم بتكذبي ما كنت عم بتجاملي 
ما كنت عم تختي بي عن الاعتبار انه او اتس سوشيال ميديا كثير سراوندينج كيف فينا نساير لانه ما ما كان في ما بتعرف العواقب تبع اللي كنت عم تحكيه بس يو دين مايند ذات العواقب هيدي انه بيسكلي كنت عم هيك حسيت وهيك بدي اقول وهيك بدي اعبر وهيك بدي دافع عن رايي بفلسطين والليميتيشن اللي عم بتحطوا لنا اياه doesn't make sense uh, can. It's not that I don't mind the awaqib. I actually gave this a lot of thought. And I had to sit with myself because obviously it became a very um, tabooish thing. You know, mm. If you're an influencer, are you posting? Are you not posting? And I, I understand. I understand the limitations from all aspects. But I had to sit with myself. And I really had to sit with myself and I had to go very deep into it. And I just had to ask myself one question. It, 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 it trickled down to one thing. This dunya means nothing to me. Truly. I, I do my nails and my hair and stuff and I look like a girly girl and that's absolutely fine. I love it. There's no shame in that. But this dunya means nothing to me. My God comes first and foremost. And if I was given the opportunity to say something it, without being disrespectful in a very... disciplined, eloquent, straight to the point way. If I was given an opportunity to say something and I didn't, how can I look at myself mm-hmm. in the mirror? Anjad, how could I? You know, I'm Palestinian at the end of the day. It's <laughs> If I did not say something, if I did not bring my point across, especially that I was sitting there and I really felt you know, and I was like, no, I need to say something. And if I didn't, one day I would like to meet my God. And if he asks me, why I didn't when I felt it in my soul that I needed to, what would I say? They'll block me. They'll, they'll shadow ban. What am I going to say? You know? So at the end of the day, this dunya means nothing. God comes first and foremost, no matter what. This is something I, I am not shy about. You know? So that's my thing. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Palestinians. It's one of the reasons I'm not very much a feminist, actually, it's because I'm Palestinian. <laughs> Leish? Um, feminist, number one, I'm not a feminist for multiple reasons. Um, the definition of feminism is very askew these days. So let's start with the definition. If it's about equality in the terms of what a person is capable of and what they need at the time, but I am not a feminist for multiple reasons. Number one, I'm Muslim. Feminism is embedded in our religion. We are given everything that we need and more. Number two, I'm Arab. And we honestly, I really get to say this, and most of my girlfriends around me, we've never faced issues where we didn't get a job because a dude needed it. Or, you know what I mean? We've been treated equally. My guy friends are super supportive. My girlfriends are thriving. So, toxic masculinity, which I don't believe in to begin with. And then number three, I am Palestinian. So watching, even if if most people didn't know before, just watching how the men behave themselves, the things that they had to do, the smile that is pasted on their face. I have journalists that follow me on Instagram and they DM me making jokes. They're in the thick of it. And they still have a sense of humor. Is that not something to admire? How can I tell you toxic masculinity and I'm a feminist? Palestinian men are meant to be revered and admired by, and, and you see it around the world, everyone's admiring them. So no, I am not a feminist. I stand behind my men a thousand percent. The thing is, I believe in, in a lot of what people believe in. It, toxic masculinity in its essence, does it exist? Yes. The reason I don't like saying it is because we've put so much emphasis on focus on it that in return, we're not talking about the opposite of it, right? Because if there is toxic masculinity, by that logic, the opposite exists, صح? where a beautiful divine masculine also exists. So my thing is, as a woman, do we face a lot of hurdles in the But am I not sitting here across from you? Have I not amassed an audience? Do I not own a company? Am I not able to live my best life? Absolutely. The hurdles that I've been through have made me a better woman for it. So that's the way I choose to see it. The way we choose to look at things matters, right? Because I could take all of that and look at it in the worst light. And And then, so with toxic masculinity, as I was saying, you have, for example, you have a man, right? And he can go in two directions. He could be Again, for lack of a better word, an alpha male. And he can say, Habibti, I want to provide for you. I want to protect you. I want to serve you. I want to be the the head of this household. I want you to have your freedom. I want you, if you want to run your business, if you want to be a, a, a mom, I want to help you become the best woman you can be. 
that is the opposite of toxic masculinity صح and then in in return he can also do the opposite انا الزلمه وما تحكيش معي كلمه وكلمتي اللي بتمشي وممنوع تعملي وبيت الساعه 8 وممنوع تلبسي and all of that that we've heard and seen our entire lives right does that make him a toxic man yes toxic masculinity yes but to me it's i don't like to define it that way just because it's put so much emphasis on that that we don't look at the other side to me that's just a horrible person you're just a horrible man do you get what i'm saying because mm-hmm. so it, to me it's not about toxic masculinity toxic femininity yes but to me it's just i think we need to talk about the opposite as well so i think words matter i think they have meaning and i think it's really important that we keep that the essence of every conversation because that's where things get lost so toxic masculinity the essence of it the issues that it's caused does it exist maybe but that's just a horrible person that's how i view it you're just a horrible man if you're abusing a woman or god forbid laying hands on her insulting her um being that super controlling you're just an insecure man you're that's an inferiority complex yeah we don't need to generalize it you yeah. know what i mm. you're just a, i'd rather but we have to we have to agree that it exists the, mm. toxicity exists you know if a, f- a woman is toxic you want to call it toxic femininity but you're just a horrible woman you're just a bad woman that's how i like to view it because if you want if we individualize it and i treat you you as hikmat right then it's not you're a toxic man or you're you know you know what i mean it's not your toxic masculinity it's your traits as hikmat and are you good or are you bad are you disciplined or are you not and i th- think i prefer just for me personally handling things that way just because the way toxic masculinity has been addressed and handled has been so intense that it's overshadowed a lot of other positivities and that's why i don't like to emphasize it anymore to me if i'm dealing with a toxic man you're just a horrible man you're just not a man i want to entertain or have in my life or speak to or or be around that is an energy i don't associate myself with do you get what i'm saying mm. the issues pertaining to toxicity with all humans me me exists and it is it is uh Huh, it's a long topic. Well, uh, yeah, it is a long to- a topic. We don't. 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 We work hard as well and look for your family and kids as well so it's 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 we keep it general and define the the exceptions that's the best thing i'll I'll give you an example to why i'm specific with this i have a younger Mm. brother okay and he is the light of my life he's mashallah one of the smartest people i know one of the hardest working and um I'm not just saying this because he's my brother. He has a genuinely good head on his shoulders. And if he comes to me, for example, and says, Leila, these are my dreams. This is the kind of man I want to become. This is how I'm working on my goals. This is how I'm disciplining myself. I want to reach to a point where I want to be so well off, so protected, so secure that I can marry a woman and If that's what he wants and that makes him happy and he feels like that's his purpose in life, to be a provider and a supporter and let his woman live in her divine feminine and raise his kids. If I go like, ugh, that's so toxically masculine, you don't want your wife to work. This is why I don't like that because I've heard people when their brother or partner or whatever say that, they're like, that's such toxic masculinity. But it's not. It's such an admirable dream. Do you know what it takes for a man to get to that point in this day and age with with inflation and the standard of living to get to the point of I'm a provider and and this is the, the standard that I want to bring them at and I want to diminish it all by redefining toxic masculinity because to me that's toxic. Oh, you don't want me to work. I've completely shattered him i'm i'm he looks up to me he's my younger brother but he does look up to me he's seen everything i've done and he admires me you know and he feels comfortable and open enough to come talk to me if i completely fly swat his dreams and and throw these big words at him right that have been overused azeto azet hali i shattered the 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 this bubble of comfortability that he and i have have taken 20 he's 23 now 23 years to amass all in the name of i wanted to label him as toxically masculine why Yeah, at the same time, he's living with with the family that 
uh, you know carries a values that he can see mm. as an example come yeah. in yani so even whatever you, you say i mean this is the example that you are showing him i'm i'm working uh, yani i have my own company i'm i'm free woman yeah. so it it will not affect him even if you say yeah that that's that's good because you're giving the example and examples are more important than just really words لانه كمان حكيت عن الاشخاص اللي بنظروا بالحياه اذا ما مروا بالتجربه اللي اللي عم ينصحوك فيها ان اشخاص ما انه ريلايبل لتخدم منهم نصيحه ابسولوتلي اي ثينك هو يو جو تو فور ادفايس از اكستريملي امبورتنت اند ذا اكزامبل ذات اي واز جيفينغ اوف ماي براذر از امبورتنت اف هي كيم تو مي اند اي واز ان ذات سوبر نو ومن جيت تو دو وات ايفر ذي وونت تو اي ام نوت ايفن بينغ اوبن تو ذات كونفرسيشن ذن اي وود جاست he came to the wrong person and i then didn't help him صح so to me it's it's just about hala don't get me wrong could my brother have been toxically masculine absolutely بس وين انا واجبي وشطارتي بس قالوا نيتو is it do you think انه حرام المره تشتغل اذا قال لي اه وقت عم انا بقول اوبا where did we go wrong with the bite hmm. بس he'll tell me no absolutely not but i see how much How, what a toll it's taken on you the amount of time you've had to divest in it the and it, it's not easy to own a business it isn't you know it's a lot of work it's a lot of mental discipline and mental acrobatics so if he comes back to me which is what he's done came back to me with that answer i saw the mental toll it took on you i saw how much it took out of you i saw the time and devotion you've had to give to it and it's so admirable and i know you're capable of it but nefsi ashil annak shu hani safiya And should I'm going to go label him toxically masculine? Do you no, get what no, I'm saying? No, 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 not, not at all. So in me, it's very important. Yes, um, I think Basaydi brings uh, the topic of really giving uh, an, an, um, a, proper, uh, a proper example in the family. للاشخاص يلحقوا ومنعلق على الاشياء اللي الانسان حاب يعبر عن رايه فيها خصوصا اذا خي اذا اذا اخت صغيره يعني بنترك الشباب يعبروا عن عن رايهم and then leave them even if they are wrong the the what's important and show them the right examples اللي رح تعكس انه هو رح يغير اخذ حقه من تعبير عن راي بس بنفس الوقت ما انه متشبص فيها مم. لانه بالنهايه نحن بنرجع بنلحق نحن كيف تربينا بشكل عام شو الانفايرمنت اللي كانت حوالينا بس ما فينا بس ننظر ونعطي اراء للاخرين وما نكون نحن ليدنج بهذا الشيء بحياتنا اليوميه يعني اتس المهم النتيجه مش الارجيومنت والايجو اللي ممكن نحطه على الاشخاص يعني ابسولوتلي ايجو از ا بيج وان وانا توك ابوت ايجو جست تو تشينج ذا توبيك ايجو ايجو ات افكتس ا لوت اوف بيبل وما في حدا ايه ما في حدا اكزاكتلي exactly. ما في حدا بفكر انه الايجو ما بي, ما بياثر يعني ما بياثر عليه و, وما بنعرف امتى عندنا ايجو امتى الاشياء اللي اخذناها بقرارات بيست كانت على الايجو الا بس نمرق فيها وبس نشوف انه اوكي انا هالشغله فت فيها او هالوظيفه او هال يمكن حتى يمكن تزوجت غلط مم. اوكي او انه اخذت كارير غلط من وراء الايجو الايجو بدمر الحياه مم. لانه بنكون نحن عن جد اخذينه على على فكره انه اي جاست وانا بي ذات بيرسون بيكوز هيدا هيدا الايمج مبسوط فيها عم تعطيني شعور بالنجاح وشعور ب يمكن شخص ثاني عملها فبيلعب الايجو بهيدي البوينت وبعدين it might kill you مش بس بال بالريزلت ات مايت كيل يو اون ذا واي انه انت يور دبلينج your your effort to reach to that uh, goal is can be wazifi or be any job you force it on yourself وبتلاقي عم تشتغلي دبل 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 it's not smooth it's just because you followed your ego you, i feel like you can recall the times where you've acted out of ego maybe immediately after or sometimes in the moment so i'm going to ask you a question if you're faced with an issue ولقيت حالك لقط حالك عم بتصرف من my ego how do you correct yourself I mean that's great. It's definitely is there something similar to the ego which I went through and made me work double. Mm. If this is the question first, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I will answer you how I corrected myself. It. So uh, when you work double, um, you're doing something that you not 100% like, mm. but until you still like the fact that you want to um, achieve in life, you want mm. to be a hard worker, you want to be successful. So you work double. But the the thing that makes you work double is when whenever you don't have enough uh, energy or enough knowledge to say no in life Oof. okay and this made me work double 
بحس انه which comes from the beginning of how you were raised قد ايه تاخذ برايك قد ايش انت عم بتعمل الاشياء اللي انت فعلا بتحبها بتكوني انت عم تدوري على الاشياء اللي بتحبيها بس still you, you, you can't find it يعني you know the, that the way you are doing you're just hard worker you want to be successful بس وعلى طول بحكي عن السلف اويرنس قد ايش انت عارفة شو بتحبي بالحياة it takes time sometimes so هيدي بيخليك تشتغلي دبل لأنه أنت أصلا مش عارفة شو اللي بدك إياه عارفة like the ultimate عارفة the the إنه ال success بس it's a, it's really vague يعني it's it's a success it's a hard work بس إذا بدنا نجزئها I still trying I'm figuring out what I want in life Beautiful. and then ego steps in and tells you oh This is amazing and this this one if you do it ولا شكله كثير ناجح and then you stick to it and it, it kills you لانه لانه it's just like صارت مع حدا ثاني وصار سوبر هيرو او سوبر ناجح بالحياه so you're just doing it out of ego out of like you want to be that person okay. but you're not really talking to yourself or seeing what you feel and is this really what I want in life or not okay so Have you, because my second, that's beautiful, number one, but my second question as well is, have you, because I feel like you have, have you been in a situation where لأطحالك باللحظة عم بتصرف من my ego? How do you, how how do you correct yourself in that moment? Yeah, it's hard to correct it. It's very hard to correct mm-hmm. it. You can see that, you know, it's not flowing uh, يعني سموثلي مثل yes. مثل المي منا ماشي بسهوله المي ذن ذير از سمثينغ رونغ ذن اي ويل سي اوكي اتس ان ايجو اتس سمثينغ ذات اي ام فورسينغ ذات اي وونت تو دو ماي ماي ايجو از سو سترونغ اند ماي ماي برسيستنت تو تو بي سكسسفل از فيري سترونغ وهيدي الشغلتين بضيعوا ويتش وان از ان ايجو ويتش وان انه انا فعلا بدي اي وونت تو بي هارد وركر كل هالموتيفيشن بتسمعيه اون لاين بوشز يو تاورز ذات انه بس م- It, it needs a lot of uh, شو بيقولوا تواضع بده كثير من انه كورونا هيلبت ا لوت اوه اوكي يا كورونا يو نو ات ريسيتس ذا هول ثينغ تمام اوكي بيعطيكي فرصه انه الحياه ما بتوقف اف يو ليت جو الحياه ما بتوقف اذا انا طلعت من الكومفورت زون تبعي ما بتوقف الحياه اتس فاين لما يجي شغلات كبيره بالحياه وغس من عنك تطلعي من الباترن اللي ماشي فيه م-م. اللي هو كان ايجو You learn. Uh, yeah. It's not easy. I don't know how. To, if I answered you, I don't know how to get it out. No, you did. You did. That's that's really good. Uh, ego is a big one because, oh, I've. Uh... <laughs> Wait, there was something you said. I forgot, but it will come back to me, inshallah. With ego, it's it's a big one because, like you said, sometimes how do I differentiate? Is it my ego or is it my karame or is it no? This is a line of disrespect or no? This is my line of ambition. It's a fickle one, mm. right? It's um. Sorry, tricky. Fickle, fickle works. It's, um, I think, the times that I've caught myself behaving from a place of ego, I immediately, the first thing I do is stop. I drop everything. Because something that I've learned, علامت الإذن التيسير, right? So sometimes it's not just, and I said this before, علامت الإذن التيسير, sometimes when you see, you know, everything around you is working to, like you said, help Flowing. things flow like water, hmm. right? But when is it sometimes, إنه مش البرة اللي عم بيوقف بطريقك, إنت اللي عم بتوقف بطريقك. Ego is one of the things that will, I said this, I think, when we were taking a little break, um, your mind, it's either a beautiful servant or a dangerous master. And I think when your mind becomes a dangerous master, where you're behaving out of fear, out of doubt, out of anxiety, that is ego. People think your ego protects you, right? Because a lot of times you'll talk to someone and they come off as egotistical, but anyone with two cents worth of emotional intelligence will tell you that's a defense mechanism. Your ego will always backfire. It always stems from a place of fear, a place of na'is, a place of lack. And the second I see myself behaving from that standpoint coming from that energy i'm like no i need to cut it it's start- i i drop everything i take a step back we recalibrate and if needed we restart or we let go completely mm. so when you when i find myself fomo is a big one right because ego is a if i don't do this i'm gonna miss this opportunity and sometimes you're it's it, 
you don't talk like that out loud that dun, 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 but the back of your mind is exactly like that if I don't do this I'm gonna miss out I'm not gonna reach where I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be where he is and your mind is like a machine gun that's that's purely your ego mm. and ego is every negative feeling you can think of yeah but I think uh, we should not kill the ego I think we should redirect it and t- tone, t- يعني tune it down or tone it down a little bit I, beautiful I don't, servants yes. it needs to serve you So it's not about getting rid of it. Anyone who tells you fully getting rid of ego, that's, yani, you're a saint at this mm. point, you know? So I agree with what you're saying. It's it's about making it your servant. It needs to become your best friend that is serving you, that is only thinking of your best interest in the healthiest way. So yeah, I fully agree. Yeah, I will also add that even if it comes from insecure place, uh, it's still okay. Because... يعني يا اما مربوطين ببعضهم الايجو والانسكيورتي مع بعضهم يعني يعني there is no ego without this is what i need as a, as 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 maybe كان جرح بحياتي كان شيء um uh, insecurity بحياتي so ego actually comes from there يعني it doesn't yeah. come from a great place يعني and then you have an ego Absolutely. It, it always comes from insecurity maybe. so ما ما بيمنع يمكن the best way you know you know to deal with it you know to be uh, vulnerable to talk about it and to say yeah i can see it it's coming from that place so i just want to tone it down or or, or redirect it yeah that's why i was saying all ego stems ego stems from all negative emotions and i get what you're saying perhaps the negative emotions or experiences came first and then the ego manifested that can also be true but i think we're born with an ego um i think we're saying the same thing absolutely the thing is You said vulnerability, and I think that's so important. I think embracing your vulnerability makes you stronger. It makes you better. It makes you more powerful. But this is where I'll go back to tabuin the limit. You know what I mean? So talk about it. Okay. But, and I'm sure you've experienced this. How many people have you seen with a victim mentality? They talk about it, but then they keep talking about it. And all we do is talk about it. And there's no change. And the change isn't easy. Here's where people get confused. They think that it's خلص, I snap my fingers, the insecurities are gone, I did the affirmations or I went to therapy two times. It's not easy. The shadow work is, it's the hardest thing you'll ever have to go through. You have to break, that, like we said, that facade, right? You have to strip open yourself and go back to your essence. And it is hard because you have to face your insecurities. You have to face the mistakes that you've made, the bad decisions that you've made, the horrible thoughts that you've had, and you have no one to blame. Ma, ma, you cannot point left or right. It's, mm-hmm. it's all you, right? So what you're saying is absolutely true. But at what point is we've embraced the vulnerability and we were talking about it? But where's the limit? Mm-hmm. You know, when do you we start to victimize uh, yourself? When do and we start the work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think victim mentality. Yani, it breaks my heart when I see people. Mm. Like as, as strict as I am with this, ma fi ishi biksir khatri mitel ashuf bani adam معلق بال cycle of victim mentality and i can clearly see in nubaidak you can get yourself out of this you can help yourself but they're just stuck in that loop it breaks my heart it's very hard and mm. they will attract sadness and they yes. will attract يعني بينبسطوا بالسادس بينبسطوا بال حتى المرض يصير يجي انه بتصير هو حابب يطور misery loves company misery loves company absolutely yeah they just attract i fully agree sorry اعطاك no 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 it's fine i i totally agree with you but who do you define who's the best friend for that person يعني اللي بي بي بيطبطب له بي بي يعني هو they will attract which type of friends and what they should look uh, what type of friend they should look for my honest to god most honest answer go to god first this is just for me personally it's the thing that's worked the most whatever religion you are from i'm not i'm not trying to preach a specific religion but a fundamental imperative lesson that I've learned and I think I have a video about this that I haven't released is I talk to God first before anyone and anything because when you are in that state you attract more misery and more sadness maybe you attract the worst kind of company or someone so what I do before anything is I talk to God because there is a clarity that comes upon you it, you know and that thought sometimes it's just a split second before the machine gun thoughts start coming and the the things that fight that clarity you i am a firm believer that god made you camel 
He gave you all the tools to do exactly what you need to do. So if you allow yourself that confidence in that moment of, you know what, I'm going to sit, I'm going to talk to God, I'm going to cry to him, talk to him, write to him, however you deem fit. And then you just sit on it. I promise you, there is a little, 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 little tiny thought that comes with an extreme clarity that tells you exactly what you need to do. Which means God does not give a soul more than it can bear. And I think that's, if you really think about that sentence, I think it's absolutely beautiful because everything I have been through, I am equipped to handle. And then I think sometimes, sometimes I've been through more than someone else has been through and sometimes I've been through less. And then I think of people who've gone through more and it's so zayma hakit and humbling because I'm like, wow, God did not give that to me, rahmatu alay, because I could not handle that. So when you think that way, when you think, no, I am capable, I, it is possible the mindset changes do you get what I'm, mm. am I making sense yes I think it's really important if the victim mentality puts you in a box where ana muadir, ana, I do not have the ability I do not have the freedom I do not have the capability Sheila I, and I say this to everyone no matter what you're going through just get rid of that idea first and know that you are capable because you were not put in on this earth by mistake you are not in the situation you are in by mistake you absolutely have the innate tools to not just handle it to master it mm-hmm. uh let's go it's a l- l- like a very nice topic to, to to talk about did we take a talk about let go letting go the it has a, to do with a lot of things it has to do with your ego it has to do with your faith it has to do with right so in my video of when i said let it go if i apply for a job and i did everything i could i believed and i woke up as the best version of myself and i went about my day and i had the yaqeen that i'm gonna get it and i didn't get it Some people, my life is over, mm. God doesn't exist, and why did this happen, and I'm good for nothing. And The way I choose to see things, because I think it's really important, and this is lens you want to see things. The way I see it is, that's not my path. Allah katib li ishi ahsan. Okay, I'm going to go... Maybe I have no idea what it is. I don't even know what my next step is. This is where me personally, I humble myself enough and I'm like, God, you know best. Inta adra. Guide me in the right direction and give me the strength and emotional intelligence to accept it. Because sometimes the ego gets stuck, but that's what I wanted, mm, you know? Exactly. And um, letting go has been one of the biggest blessings of my life. My ability to let things go and truly not be attached has, it's it's just, it's miraculous. I see the, the other doors that are opened because I'm not attached to what I think is best for me, you know? And the number one advice that I would give people for letting go is why are you so attached to what you think is right? How many times? Because everyone has been through this. Maybe you did one time in your life, Layla. That's it. So they, they stuck to it and it's the comfort zone that they stuck to it. That's and true. And they want it to happen many, many times. But I believe in that. It's just like you really let go and let things flow and... as uh, as natural as as uh, it seems to you and then don't force it absolutely My, the biggest advice that i would say just to help people start to change the the mentality and the viewpoint on this is if you're imagining all the things that can go wrong because that's usually what happens that's why they get attached to this by that logic you have to imagine all the things that can go right take one minute and just imagine all the other opportunities or miracles that could happen for you And why not? You know, I think about this all the time. I'm like, God is big and God is great. And the universe is huge. People have had miracles happen to them every day. Why not me? And then I get so excited. Like I get all excited and giddy. And I'm like, oh my God, the, the things that could happen. And I'm so excited. And okay, I just have the belief that things will work out. And if you genuinely have that belief, you let things go with ease because exactly. it's not e- meant for even you. if it didn't work out, mm-hmm. we shouldn't be afraid of it. And it's like is always we blame ourselves and it might be the end of the world, it's it's your fault. Depends how we were raised about it. It's like uh um, إذا yeah. ما صارت مصيبة وإنه no it's not it's not your fault you can't take the responsibility of life وما ضروري نضلنا بهالانزايتي اللي 
المخليتنا نتمسك باقل شيء صغير ويمكن هو اللي عم بدمرنا بالحياه 100% I was saying before Einstein's definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again expecting different results and this was the biggest change for me I I'm turning 29 in March I think it was after my 27th birthday I kind of sat back and I'm like okay Leila we've done so much work so much self discipline so many things have changed but في اكم من شيء ما عم بتغيره and I'm like okay it's been 27 years and I've been approaching it the same way the same mentality ما عم بتغير you know and then that's where I was like okay maybe I just need to change the way I see things change the way I view them change what I think they mean and I by the grace of God opted for the most positive thing I'm like okay we're just gonna look at everything positively and those things just worked out you know because it's it's you can go through the worst thing and just think you know what that is a blessing in disguise I'm gonna see how that's gonna turn into the best thing that's ever happened to me and I guarantee you it will I guarantee you it will. There's just no two ways about it. انبسطت كثير فيك. You talk so well. Thank you. عنجد you're amazing. Your هيك الانرجي اللي عندك اياها، النولج اللي عندك اياها، يعني كلنا فخورين فيك. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. This is my first ever podcast. Oh wow. That's amazing. No, keep keep doing what you're doing. The talk never stop. هل البودكاست اللي عم تعمليه او الاجزاء ان شاء الله بتكبر اكثر ان شاء الله و ريلي واز جريت هافينج يو ات واز جريت بيينغ هير ثانك يو جايز سو ماتش يو جايز هاف ا جريت سبيس ذا انرجي از اميزينغ اند اونستلي اي دونت ايفن نو وير ذا تايم ونت ثانك يو سو ماتش ثانك يو